Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another LR Freezer Grind. I'm just going to be going up against it. Um, we're going to go and make a, an agility team because we're going to take on the strength variant. And, you know, I, I've been doing my tech team all the time. I figured some of you guys might want to look into a good agility team to run on this. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually get an agility because everyone is running tech. So I might not be able to find an agility leader. Uh, so if that's the case, I'll just end up running LR Goku. Uh, just because he does do all types. And honestly, that's probably going to be your best bet, even though he's not going to get the buff from an agility type fleet. So, uh, that's, I want to keep them, because it's only a universe survival, uh, bonus, which I have not been grinding out, honestly. I really should have been grinding that out, but I haven't. Um, there we go. Alright, cool. So, let's see, which one of these guys will give me key for all type? So, I think he's just agility. Does he do his agility and tech? I think it's strength. Agility and tech. Perfect. So, we can bring him as a leader if we want to. Um, this is definitely going to be a little bit of a tougher event now that we're doing this. I know Vegeta is his best linking buddy. Um, I did not... Did you know, is he up to Super Attack 10? He is. Alright, and I know that these two are really good linking buddies. Though I really don't... I think when I did my video, I didn't want to run them. Um, I think Tarble's good also. Um, let's see. He's a key or manipulator, so he might be useful. Uh, Pinnick is here as well. He's 50%, but he only does huge damage. Uh, Pycoon, I think, was decent for a link. Um, who did he link well with? Whis? Was it Pike 1 and Whis? Yeah, it was these two. So those two are going to be linked for, for hanging out with each other. Um, I think Tien was on my list. Now, I'm, I'm referencing a video that I did uh, a long, long time ago. So what's going on here? Oh, my alarm's going off. <laughs> um, so what else? I guess I will do uh, Tarble because he is a key orb manipulator. And he can pr he'll probably help us out with getting some super attacks off. Uh, he's, he'll be good for support. Uh, this guy is supreme damage, so I might as well bring him. And then attack and defense plus 5,000 to start of the turn. You can't go wrong there. Because otherwise we're doing attack plus 50%, but it's only for uh, with huge damage. This Vegeta, I don't think he's... Yeah, he's really not that good. Uh, extreme damage, yeah, you need to get your health below 50%. We're going to try and keep our health above 50%. Uh, Whis will be our healer. And yeah, that's about it. Another good pair of links will be, uh, I think, Cell and Frieza. Those two link well together. But this is going to be a decent team for you to run anyway. Um, so we'll go ahead with this setup. We're going to go over here. We're going to change some things really quick. Uh, we're going to get rid of Ghost Usher. We're going to get rid of Icarus. And we're going to add on Marin and Root of the Tree of Might. So that way we can have some key. Uh, we might actually want to consider doing, instead of Fruit of the Tree of Might, we're going to bring... Uh, here we go, Oolong, so that way we get some key art manipulation for LR Goku. So we're going to go ahead and bring this team and see what we can do. I haven't run this event before like this, in, at least in a very long time. Uh, I know the last time I did, it was a pain in the butt to beat, but uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, and for some reason, my audio is not recording my in-game play. I'm only recording it from over here, so apologies about the lack of in-game audio. But... Let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to go to the to where we typically go to the right, um, which I, I guess it will be technically to the left if you're playing, like if you're if you're seeing yourself as the character. Um, I was going to say to the left, but whatever. So we're going down this path. How about that? Uh, so that way we can go and get some key because this way there's always a lot of key. And if you don't get key, you usually get awakening metal stuff. And I prefer getting awakening metal stuff because it's harder to come by than like all the training items and stuff like that. So, um, I'm super hyped. So, I, I've been playing Bleach Brave Souls, as you all know. I really do plan, I, I, a few of you have asked me to do a full game overview of Bleach Brave Souls, and I know a few of you do play with me. Um, I personally love the game, and it is a lot of fun. I plan on doing a, a breakdown of the game and how to play an in-game mechanics. Uh, and honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been there. I have more hours logged in 2018 than I do in Dokkan Battle in terms of gameplay. Like, at least like five times more hours logged. <laughs> Just because of the amount that I play. Oh, that's actually a really nice setup. All right, cool. So we have Vegeta and his uh, younger self. What, let's see. I forgot what each of these guys do. So this Vegeta, huge damage. Attack plus 40%. When key is 6 or more. So he's always doing attack plus 40%. And he has himself linked to extreme damage, which is uh, attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. That works out really well. We'll go ahead over here. We'll have his younger form attack first. Uh, which one has more defense? Oh, wow. Look, that, this is such garbage. Look at, look at these freaking stats, man. That's such horrible stats. The only one who has some really good stats is LR Goku. Anyway, um, two. No, wow, we really don't have anyone who can really do well here. Uh, we'll do this. And then that way, baby Vegeta. Oh, look, it's all Vegeta's. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, what I was saying about Bleed for Soul. So I, I finished up, I, I grinded out a whole bunch in Droplet Zone. Um, I ended up getting like seven, eight hundred droplets apiece. But I also picked up two of the character packs, uh, well, the, the guaranteed summoning tickets anyway, uh, which gave you 80 droplets per purchase. And I bought two of them because one came out, then the second one came out for White Day. So I got that, which I was super hyped about. Um, and then I went and I did a couple summons on the droplet banner for the. Um, the current Diamond Rebellion, and yeah, then I just grinded out Droplet Zone for like a very long time. I had so many, I've gotten so many characters up to Super Attack, or Super Attack, up to the level 200 right now. I'm just waiting because I want to get my Koga. I'm very hyped that I got Koga all set up. Uh, ooh, this is going to be difficult because of who is running here. I want Whis to stay here at the same time I want LR Goku to stay here, uh, but LR Goku has nothing he could really do. You know what we're going to do? We're not going to worry about it this round, because this round is... If... I mean, that was actually executed really poorly. Um, this round is um, not the LR Frieza, so we want that LR Goku to end up getting a super text off when Frieza is at his LR form, that way he does the most damage. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on it. I'm getting all my healers in Bleach Brave Souls up to level 200. I got my Retsu, my Mind Retsu up to 200. All the other attributes, except for strength, are already there. Um, the only one that I have left is Isane on power, who still needs to get um, hooked up to that level. Once she is hooked up to that level, then um, all my healers will be level 200. And it's not, not like a requirement to have all your healers at level 200 in-game. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're, do, when you're doing gameplay, because if you are a healer, you want to try and do as much damage and tank a lot more. You have a lot more health when you do that. Sweet. There we go. Is he stunned? I guess he got must have got stunned by Whis or something. That's awesome. Per oh, okay. Well, I was going to say perfect. He's going to have uh, Super uh, LR Goku will finish him off. But at least Python finished him off before that happened. Alright, cool. So this is actually a really good team, I'm not going to lie. I might try uh, in another video maybe just to do a uh, gameplay with all other attribute types except for maybe physical. Just because I don't have a good physical build for this. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this with... Maybe we can get it to drop the way I want. I think this will be a good... Yeah, okay, cool, perfect. Uh, do I need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10? Yeah, no, we need, the, we need that extra one for the 12. There we go. Now, LR Goku will get off his Ultra Super Attack. Oh, yeah, definitely will get his Ultra Super Attack off. Uh, just to play it safe, we're going to go ahead and use the Sensor Bean. We're going to uh, heal. Plus, I have a thousand of them, so whenever we get gifts, I, they always just sit in my gift box, so I might as well just use them. Um, there we go. Now he's Ultra Super Attack. One away from getting max damage that you could possibly get. Uh, and we're going to bring down some more physical orbs. And we should be good. Hopefully Whis can stun him. If Whis can stun him, that would be great. That's one another really good reason why you want to run Whis, is because of those stuns, and when he does get those stuns in, you're set. Alright, there we go. LR Goku, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Oh my gosh, and he got an additional. See, your friend, your friend Goku could be doing this. Wow, that's actually really nice. Look at that. What the hell happened? Oh, we stunned him again? Hell yeah, okay, cool. That's what's up, man. That's what I'm talking about. And that was actually a really quick run. Alright, cool. So, you know what we're going to do? Because uh, I want this to be a little bit of a longer grind video, so that way you guys can play uh, while I'm playing along with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try another one. Um, let's go see what we could do. Well, we're going to take a look at my intelligence team and my strength team for, for, for Mono. And we're going to see if either of them can hold up on this event for free-to-play. I'm sure they can. Um, I just want to go ahead and test it out. So let's go take a look. So we are going to bring another LR Goku friend. We're going to keep our items the same. Let's go ahead over here and switch over to intelligence. Let's see what we got for intelligence. So we actually do. We have some... I forgot. We do have some really good units for intelligence. Um, we don't want him as a leader. Who is a good leader for intelligence? Tech type, attack minus 25%, no. Uh, King Vegeta. No, he does physical. He does int. I wish we had um, a leader over here that does a, a, like a rainbow. Or at least tech and intelligence, right? Because that would make our lives a lot easier. A lot of these guys are int or oriented, which is not bad. It's definitely not a bad thing, but for the team that I'm trying to run right now, it's definitely not benefiting me at all. Everything's intelligence and physical, and all types. Of, well, that's just HP and attack. Those are really two good links, though. But we want key. We need key. 
So... Fusion category. That doesn't help me. Um... I guess we're gonna go with the all type, like we did before, with King Vegeta. Uh, actually, I think I want to stay away from King Vegeta this round. Um, I, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go and do Goku Jr. And we're gonna have over here the... Yeah, we're gonna bring him because he's gonna be good for intelligence support because he does E plus 3, defense plus 30%. That is definitely not a bad thing. Uh, high chance of key plus two. Now we don't want that high chance stuff. We gotta add here with that. I think he does supreme attack and defense. Well, yep. Okay. So we want um, we want go tanks up in here. I think ice. This is ice Shenron. Ice Shenron isn't bad. Greatly lowers defense. Attack the enemy. Attack and defense minus twenty percent. He's definitely good for debuffing. I think this Goku Junior links very well with the other Goku. Um, so we're probably gonna bring him. We're definitely bringing Trunks because I, it's funny. I don't have him Doken awakened yet. Um, I'm actually planning on feeding some into the dupe system with him. I want to get up top left, bottom right at least before I Doken awaken him. But if I do, if I did Doken him right now, he would definitely be a lot easier to run with. Um, yeah, he's, he won't have a guard, so we're gonna go ahead and bring Goku Jr. The reason why I was hesitant against it is because I have not put any dupe system into him as of yet, and he's only really viable when you put into the dupe system. Um, outside of that, there's no one really else. I mean, I guess I could bring Monster uh, Rabbit over here, Monster Carrot, sorry. Uh, he does have double chance to stun, which is really awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead with Goku Jr. over here, just because those two link very well together. Um, and we're gonna see how this team works out for me. And we should be good, and yeah, uh, we'll go from there. And then maybe, we, maybe, who knows, maybe we can do some good things. The only problem with this is because that LR Goku is not getting, uh, all the additional key from having that dual lead, uh, it's, it's not gonna really benefit me. Or it's not gonna benefit him anyway. Oh man, you know, it's funny, there's a lack of news videos that are currently available right now, and I completely forgot of all the videos I was going to talk to you guys about, because I told you I was going to be doing a whole bunch of other team building guides and stuff, and I know I did a, did a decent amount of team building guides, I just, I have, I have this itching feeling somewhere that I forgot to do one, so wow, of course a goal goes to the Goku Jr. who is going to do the least amount of damage, at least go to LR Goku, he needs the, oh man. Um, yeah, that, I, I have a suspicion, a sneaking suspicion that I that I literally forgot um, one team building guide that I promised you guys I was going to make. If you guys happen to remember which one it was, let me know. Or if you just want to see a team building guide on something that I haven't done before, let me know and I'll go ahead and I'll make it for tomorrow's video. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday, so I should be good because remember Wednesday is my weekly grind video. Um, one thing I did want to note is I saw on the Reddit today that there is a maintenance mode going on for JP for like six hours. Who know? We don't know what that's going to be, but I'm kind of sitting here hoping that it's going to be for the friend system, because that means it's going to come to global at some point, which is going to be awesome. Uh, what do I want to do here? Um, we're going to bring down the one tech, and actually that's not going to be at all, because it's only four or four that I can get, and Goku needs, yeah, he needs a lot more than just four. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do some setups over here. Uh, there we go, there's that. So now my go tanks will get off the super attacks. So now we have two super attacks going off, that's a good thing. Or, if you guys aren't interested, and because I keep on talking about Bleach Bracels, maybe I can do a partial video for you guys. Um, like my account, an account overview on Bleach Bracels, and what I'm doing with it, and, you know... Uh, who I have, the characters, the teams that I'm running, my PvP. I found, I got to fourth seat in it. If you guys are interested, I did get the fourth seat, and I am super happy about it. But I've been to fourth seat before. The problem is, I've never been able to compete in fourth seat because I've never had good items. So I finally have good enough items where I am competing competitively in fourth seat. I think I played around like 80 rounds. I came in first place, but it, you know you have to hold that for a week. I'm definitely not going to hold first place for weeks. I'm not doing 100. I'm not playing 100 times a day uh, for PvP. I want to just get promoted to third seat. So once you get the third seat, I believe you get some additional orbs in game. Uh, plus, you know, in third seat you get this special event that comes out every once in a while that's only available to third seat or above. I want to try out that event because I, I hear it's really good. All right, cool. So we're going to do some healing over here. We definitely need some healing for sure. Um, I've been kind of spoiled with the way things have been running. <laughs> um, ooh, I am in a predicament, aren't I? Oh, sick. 
Perfect. All right, cool. So he'll at least get off a super attack. Um, yeah, because he's not going to be around for another while. He's not going to be around for a while. So there we go. And now this is also... I'm also doing this uh, event specifically for you guys who do not have an LR Goku. So uh, that's another reason why I want to do this team building technically for you because I want to show you how easy it was. As long as you can find a friend LR Goku, you're set. And most people are running 100%. If they've been playing the game for a long time, they're probably going to have 100% an LR Goku because of the event that came around. So, And the items that I'm bringing are not that hard to come by at all, by any means. Alright, sorry about the little cutout right there. Um, I had a phone call that came in. I didn't know who it was, but I didn't want to put it into the video. So, uh, here we go. Let's just go ahead and finish this up. So, like I was saying, the items are not that bad. Uh, let's see over here. We have what? So I have a Dende, I have a Sensu Bean, I have a Marin. Marin might be a little bit more, but you can bring any damage reduction. As you've seen so far, I have not used her. Um, I'll probably use her next round for LR Frieza just to make sure I don't die. Uh, but I mean, you don't need to run it. You don't need to, you don't need her at all. <laughs> um, there we go, and we should be good now because I think he'll get a super attack off. I mean, Goku Junior is definitely gonna kill him. I, don't, I have no doubt about that. Look at this. Yeah, look at this kid. Look at this kid go. Why is he so pixelated? I never realized how pixelated this Goku Jr. was in terms of when he was going after him. Damn, that art style. Weird. But look at that. 376,000 damage. That ain't bad for the team that I'm running. Remember now, the only buff that they get is a 3,000 attack buff because I'm only running key buffs. Or actually, am I running the Goku Jr. as a lead? So I might not be getting just key buffs. I might be getting attack and defense as well. But um, Alright, cool. So... I'm trying to think, because we could only do um, Intelligence Orbs and Tech Orbs, so I want to set this up right. These two link together, or is it just Shocking Speed? Oh, Coward. Coward and GT, and I don't need that, because that's just key That's just key links, that's it. But, alright, we're going to do this, because then I can get him to at least get a Kamehameha off. And we're gonna go ahead, and we know what we're gonna do. We, you know, what? we're not gonna use the Marin because I want you guys to see that you can do this without using damage reduction if you don't need it. Um, all right, cool. So, and then we're gonna only do one. I want to see if I could save these tech orbs for when LR Goku comes around again. That might be a little bit uh, difficult next round, depending on what happens, because uh, this this Trunks over here, he's he's the guy who gives key to all the intelligence types, and unfortunately, he doesn't benefit LR Goku though. I do have him here. At least that LR Goku, he got a crit. That'll definitely help you out. Um, and since Ice Shenron's attacking, that means uh, Frieza will be getting the buff a little bit as well. So, and the one good thing about videos like this, um, all of these videos or all of the the teams that I'm building here are 100% free to play because you could only use free to play on this event. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> and perfect. All right, cool. Unfortunately, I'm not, my Trunks is not going to get a super attack off, but it's okay because I feel like it's worth it for what we just accomplished. That's a really nice attack, actually. That, it's a quick, nice attack animation. It's not as long as this freaking stupid future Goku Jr. BS long-ass attack that no one wants to watch. <laughs> um, and that's about it. I think we'll be good, unless I get supered. But even if I get supered... Oh, uh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. Actually, if I got supered, I would have died. Holy crap. I got really lucky there. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to do a Dende for another heal. And that's about it. That's all I need. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to use a key orb manipulator because I don't. you don't need it, but I just like watching Frieza die by the spirit bomb. <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and do that. So Frieza's going to die by spirit bomb. Um, and you're going to go over here because you need all this key so that way you don't die. And you need all that key so you don't die. And we're going to be good. Watch him get supered. No, okay, cool. So and that's about it. Awesome. So there we go. That's two rounds where we did. Um, one was with intelligence, one was with agility. Obviously, the agility is going to be a lot easier for everyone, um, just because you're, you have type advantage there. But that was uh, intelligence. Don't try this with the physical team. It's not worth the headache and stress, you know. Uh, oh, nice. I got 15 drops on that one for the medals. I mean, I got a, lot, a long way to go get the other one to open awaken. But I'm not upset about that. But that's 100 stamina right there. I'm very happy with that. At least I got some stamina drained. I haven't done any of my, like, nightly grind stuff. So I still have, like, the Hercules uh, challenge. You know, I'll do that with you guys, because I feel like I haven't done that with you guys since I did, like, a, a small tutorial video on that. So for those of you who are, like, still grinding out stuff, if you have that much stamina, um, just, you know, hang out and stick around for a little bit. I'm going to be posting this video at some point today, like, around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe. 
whatever time um, it gets finished uploading, I'm going to set um, like uh, whatever the next nearest release time is. So we have an agility potential orb event. We're going to go ahead and grind that out real quick. Uh, let's see, who do I want to bring? We're going to go ahead and bring the Fusions team just because it's the quickest way to beat the event. Uh, there we go. And we're golden. <sighs> By the way, actually, I'm still drinking my Red Bull, as I do every morning when I record my videos. <laughs> so we got three. We're going to go over here. I always go down the middle path. And I'm pretty sure in my tutorial video I said that. Um, I almost always go down the, the middle path just because medium and large orbs are the two orbs that you run out of the most. So I'll always go down it. Going down the large doesn't yield you enough large orbs to warrant you doing it, in my opinion. Uh, because then you also lack out on the medium orbs or miss out on the medium orbs. So I would prefer doing that. Plus, if you're just doing base tube system on everything, everything is small and medium for the most part anyway. Alright, cool. So we're good here. We're going to go ahead. Oh, we have my Broly. 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 Cor I'm sorry, Coroli. You're going to go over here. You're going to take out 17. And then Gogeta, you're going to take out 18. And then Pandel, you're just going to be here for support because you are a support unit. Yeah. Alright, cool. So we're good there. Look at that. Nice attack. Quick. Nice animation. It's over. Uh, you know, I feel like I feel like we should be doing a... Um, there should be a information about how long each super attack takes to complete and that way we can build teams for like you know boss rush events that when we're trying to compete for time it's a lot easier to know which ones to bring because their super attack times are the lowest now, i'm not doing that i'm gonna tell you that right now i'm not doing that math because that's just that's long and tedious and there's oh there's thousands of cards in the game no there needs to be an automated method renzi if you're watching this <laughs> to see if you can figure that out um I am not going to be doing uh, any of that, but it would be good to know. It's, it's good to have those statistics, because then you can make some uh, good decision-making based off of how much time it takes for a super attack to launch, and you can get through an event a lot quicker. And let me tell you, seconds matter when you have to grind an event 200 times. You know, like 200 times 5 seconds, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's insane. But uh, there we go. Okay, so that's just that's the uh, orbs, which I want to get. Now I've completed some missions. Let's go ahead and do the Hercule event. The one thing about the Hercule event is I do not run it unless I have an LR Hercule friend. Um, there we go. And for some reason, whenever I record, do it using uh, si uh, Samsung SideSync, it screws up my ability to display things. And I think that might just be a, a little glitch in the system. Or maybe it's just because it's it's pr trying to prevent you from live streaming. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, there's LR Hercule. Actually, that, that worked out really well. The reason why is because he gives you a better buff. I mean, look at the effect, 155% right now. Um, and the, half of these guys are TUR'd. Yeah, I probably could find other ones to TUR to get to 120 to make it more guaranteed of a drop. I think the max is like 175. But it's not that important to me because I, I finished getting all my Hercule, uh, me, uh, like the, the belts, the Hercule belts, for my LR Hercule. He's up to Super Attack 20 with all four Dupas on that. So there's no real reason for me to actually, you know, want to go all the way with that but you know it is nice to have all the zenny coming in i'll probably end up doing it at some point um just because you know obviously i want it for sake of completion but uh the the, the other thing about all the zenny that, that you need the zenny for is when you are z awakening all your srs to feed into your ssrs to increase the super attack and i do have a few left that i have to do and i've been dumb i've been dumb and i've been selling all my vegetas when i need to increase the super attack of the uh, intelligence support vegeta Oh, I, that worked out really freaking well, actually. Look at that. So, wow, that wow, really freaking well. That's awesome. I never, I never get two super attacks in a row with because there's no, there's really no key that's going around except for whatever links are that are there. And by the way, if you didn't know why D Demon King Piccolo and that Goku linked is because they had, they probably had like uh, got into the Dragon Balls or Mystical Adventure, whichever one is a key link, and like some other stupid young Dragon Ball link, whatever it is. <laughs> But, um, yeah, there we go. There's that. Wow. And the other one is the Master Roshi event, which I bring my uh, Pechi Pechi Girl team, or whatever the heck it's freaking called. Uh, I always forget the name of it. It's funny, because I always do. Uh, oh, wow, nice. Two Hercule statues. That's what I'm talking about over here. Um, and we're going to go up, and we're just going to do this real quick. This one's a lot easier, just because that uh, the Universe Survival Saga event is going on, and everyone's running Khalifla. Uh, so it's just really easy to get the one for this, so that's why I'm doing it right now. 
But this is the team that I'm running right now because it's very easy to run. I have all the girls here. They're, most of them are, are 120. So it, it does really well because I think I'm getting uh, like 100% or something like that. 105% uh, chance for drop, which definitely benefits me. It might be more because there's been a number of times where I've gotten three sets of uh, training items. Um, I, always, I usually go down the path specifically with all of the gold uh, training items, which is really beneficial to you. I mean, most of this stuff is, you know, they're kind of just throwaway, and it, it doesn't make a difference one at a time, but, like, over the course of a year, it can, especially when you're not using a lot of these training items, because uh, most of the time you're using it on SRs, uh, so you only use, like, your crappy ones. Unless you're doing the auto, then it just pre-selects everything, but it usually pre-selects the crappy ones for you in the first place. Alright. You know, it would be funny... If, when you knock out this Master Roshi, if you had this full team and he did a different animation, like, he's, like, at, at the time where he dies, instead of him, like, getting knocked out, or, like, his nose just started bleeding and he, like, flew flew across, like, away from everyone. That would have been pretty funny, in my opinion. Alright. And there we go. And now we're done. Yep. There she goes with her energy blast. That's such a such a unique name. I'm gonna tell you, energy blast, man. I, you know, I wish I could have. I wish I could have thought of something as unique and awesome as that. But anyway, um, yeah, Super Battle Road. I was actually gonna try to do that today, but uh, the event is off today. I guess it's a weekend only thing, um, so that's why it wasn't available when I went to try to do it today, because it is currently Monday. So, oh uh, gosh. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and collect the mission rewards. But, um, yeah, guys, so that's that. I, I, I Let me know if you like this style of video, by the way, because I know I haven't been doing a lot of gameplay. I usually cover the news, and I only have time to cover the news, but when there isn't any news, I don't know what you guys want to see. I don't know if you guys want to see some Bleach Brave Souls gameplay, stuff like that. I, I, I don't think I can handle bringing you news for two separate video games uh, or mobile games. I do prefer the news on Dokkan Battle. I do have a lot more, well, I have more fun playing Bleach Brave Souls, but I have such a history with, with Dokkan Battle that I don't ever want to, I would never, like, leave the game. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like uh, news on Bleach Brave Souls might be a little bit much, but, like, maybe doing some gameplay videos and stuff like that would be pretty fun for you guys. I, I haven't done any summoning videos. I've been doing a lot of summoning, so I haven't done a lot of summoning videos on it. So, um, let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it. That's the morning gameplay video that I did. I went ahead and grinded out, dropped all my stamina. I'm just going to go ahead and enter into the LR Freeze event one more time, just so the rest of the stamina is done all drained out for the event, or for the rest of the day anyway. But uh, don't worry, I'm not going to do the gameplay on it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see since there's a lack of news right now. Thank you, guys. Catch you all later. Peace.